On February 17, 2009, full power television stations will change to using digital radio waves instead of using analog radio waves. Congress passed a law that required this change. The change is called the Digital Television Transition, or DTV Transition. This video will explain more about this transition and what you need to know to make sure you will be able to watch television programs after the transition to DTV. Why? That's often the first question that people ask when they learn about the DTV transition. The transition began in 1996 when Congress voted to require the transition to all digital television signals. They did this because digital technology works more efficiently than analog technology. That means much more information can be transmitted over the same spectrum. Therefore, less spectrum will be needed to transmit television shows. Using spectrum more efficiently means more spectrum resources will be available for important public safety communication needs, such as police, fire, and emergency rescue. In addition, using spectrum more efficiently means there are more opportunities for new wireless services, like wireless broadband. Examples of wireless broadband include email to family and friends, and the ability to watch videos on handheld devices. DTV can also provide consumers with choices about how their closed captions are displayed. For example, consumers will be able to change the size, color, font, and background of the digital captions. For TV stations, greater efficiency means better picture and sound quality, like high definition or HD TV. DTV technology is so efficient that TV stations will be able to air multiple television shows at the same time, using the same spectrum that used to be needed for just one television show. This is called multicasting. Multicasting means that broadcasters can offer more television shows. Now that we have answered the questions when and why we are transitioning to DTV, we will discuss how and what. How do I get the information I need to be prepared for the DTV transition, and what should I do to be prepared? Watching this video provides a first step to learning more about DTV. You can also review the information on our website and read our fact sheets. Both of these sources provide important information and are updated regularly to keep you informed of the newest information. We want to give you one more important piece of information before we discuss how you should be prepared for the DTV transition. DTV is not the same thing as HDTV. DTV stands for digital television and has to do with the way radio wave signals are sent to your television. HDTV stands for high definition television and has to do with how your TV set displays the picture. HDTV television sets give the best television pictures. Some people say the picture is so good it looks like you can touch the picture. You do not need an HD TV set to get TV shows after the transition to DTV. HD TVs are one of the types of television sets that will work after the transition to DTV. We will discuss other types later in this video. Now we are going to discuss what you need to know to make sure that you can watch your TV after the DTV transition. What you may need to do depends on how your television currently receives its television signal. Most of us get our television signal from either a cable provider, a satellite television provider, or simply over the air 
through an indoor or outdoor antenna, like rabbit ears on your TV or an aerial on your roof. If you have cable or satellite, you probably do not need to do anything for the DTV transition. You may have already heard from your provider about what, if anything, you may need to do. However, you may want to check with your cable or satellite operator to confirm that you do not need to do anything. Remember, even if you have cable or satellite, you may have televisions that aren't hooked up to the service, perhaps in a guest bedroom or the garage, that are receiving TV service over the air. In addition, even if you subscribe to satellite service for some programming, you may still be getting some of your television shows over the air with your own antenna. Just check with your satellite provider to make sure. So, let us discuss the TV sets in your home that receive their broadcast signal over the air. Those are the TV sets that use rabbit ears or rooftop antennas. Built inside your television is a piece of equipment called a tuner. If you have an older television, it probably has an analog tuner. If you have a newer television, one that you bought in the past few years, it may have a digital tuner. If you have a digital tuner in your television, it is a DTV. And you will be able to watch television after the DTV transition and will not need to do anything extra. Your TV is ready to receive the digital TV signals that will be sent after the DTV transition concludes. One easy way to identify digital televisions is to look for these logos.